Did Kanye West just fool the entire Christian world? I will be right back with some shocking revelation from this famous hip hop musician. Welcome back, my dear friend. You know, just a few years ago, in the year 2019, the famous American hip-hop bad boy announced to the whole world that he was now a Christian. You know, this was a very huge announcement because, you know, Kanye West was known in the past to be not just, you know, a hip-hop musician who was singing secular music, but he was somebody who was known to be anything against God. He was against Christianity. You know, there were many occasions in the past where Kanye West would either dress like Jesus Christ or even let somebody dress like Jesus Christ on stage just to ridicule the Christian faith. There was even a time where in an interview he went on to say that I don't want to be Christ-like because he said that in the past or when he was growing up, he was told to be Christ-like, but he doesn't want to be that. He wants to be me-like. Isn't that something else? So this announcement in 2019 that he had converted to Christianity was actually a huge thing. In fact, the entire Christian world was excited. I myself, I was so excited when I got to hear that Kanye West has become a Christian. In fact, he even went on to start, I mean, his own kind of a church, which he termed as Sunday service, where he gathered with some famous celebrities and a choir just to sing and praise God every Sunday. He became so famous in the Christian circle when he announced that he had become a Christian that he was even seen confessing that he is everything Christian in one of the biggest churches in America, I'm talking about the church of Joel Osteen. This is amazing, my dear friend. In fact, Kanye West even vowed to stop making non-religious music upon his announcement of his up-and-coming album. That is, the album that he released right after his conversion, Jesus is King. In fact, the whole Christian world was so happy for him. But the question is, was it a true conversion? Or he was just trying to tap into the huge Christian market. Well, my dear friend, not long ago, in the month of February 2024, Kanye West was asked in an interview about his Christian faith. And he went on to say that he has an issue with Jesus Christ and would rather take things into his own hands instead of giving Jesus full control. Watch this. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. And so my dear friend, you see in the video, you can actually see Kanye West and then a rapper by the name of T.Y. Dollar. And they, they appeared on, for an interview with a radio personality by the name Big Boy. And Big Boy actually posted this on his YouTube channel. Kanye West said that I have an issue with Jesus. This is interesting. You know, every Christian goes through difficulties in his or her life. But for one who professes to be a Christian, has even gone to release a Christian album and has even started his own kind of a Christian church to come out to say that I have a problem with Jesus and that there are certain things that he went through that he prayed that he did not see anything. And because of that, he has taken things in his own hands. That is rather unfortunate. You see, let me just tell you a little bit about Kanye West. Kanye West was actually born... On June 8, 1977, in Atlanta, Georgia, he is actually an American producer, a rapper, and a fashion designer who, you know, has released a lot of successful, you know, albums from the year from the 1990s to 2000s, and to this very time. In fact, Kanye West was actually known to be one of the most controversial rappers in the world, and so when he announced that he had become a Christian, it actually shocked everybody. But the question is. Based on this recent interview, did Kanye West fool the Christian world or there's actually something going on? Now, this is serious because in the interview that he, he had with um, Big Boy recently in the month of February, 
He actually went on to say that he has never prayed his way or he didn't pray his way to success. And that he has a problem with Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Do you know how many threats we've been dealt, dealt with? And I didn't pray my way through them threats either. I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do, I ain't had time to pray. Mm -hmm. So that's where, that's, that's where my issue is. And look at where I'm at today. My dear friend, this is very sad. In fact, what made this whole thing so sad is that later in the interview, Kanye West actually claimed that he is not just a Christian, but he's God. He says, because I'm God. Listen to this. Because, you know, because I'm God. And anyone to disagree, I'm the God of me. And you can't tell me who I am. I can't tell y'all. I could tell y'all. It's y'all job to listen. I'm the God of me. My dear friend, this is serious. He says, I am the God of me. Bible says, Kess is the one who puts his trust in man. And we cannot, as Christians, put our trust in our own selves. God blesses us with success. But Kanye West is now saying that the success that he has has nothing to do with the blessings of God. As a matter of fact, he made it clear that he did not pray to get where he was or where he is now. It is everything about his own hard work. And so he does not need Jesus, nor God, nor anybody tell him anything. He is the God of his own self. Well, my dear friend, this is actually shocking. But it is not strange because right from the very beginning, even though he announced that he was a Christian, he did not allow the Spirit of God to take full control so that he could bear fruit. He was probably putting up a show to tap into the huge Christian market in his music career. No wonder in 2019, when he announced that he was now a Christian, he released an album entitled, or that was named Jesus is King. And in fact, that album was an instant hit among the Christian world. In fact, that song became so popular that Kanye West earned a Grammy or his first Grammy nomination as the best contemporary Christian music. Isn't that amazing? But what many people did not know was that his so-called Sunday service was, not, was actually nothing Christian. It was just some feel-good moment for him and his fans. Because in this so-called Sunday service, there was no sermon, there was no Bible reading, there was nothing, I mean, biblical about it. It was just singing and dancing. It looked more like some rituals than Christian service. Now, during the time that he claimed to be a Christian, he and his wife, you know, he divorced his wife, Kim Kardashian, and later got remarried to a mother who almost walks about naked. I mean, somebody who claims to be a Christian would not be involved with set people like this. I mean, before I continue, please, I know some people are going to come to the comment box, you know, to say all sorts of things. This message is no by, by no means to judge Kanye West. No, that is not what we are here to do. No one can truly know his true intention. We can only leave that in the hands of God. But as Christians, we must understand what it means to be truly convicted. I'm just using Kanye West's life as an example because many people are like Kanye West. Many Christians claim to have convicted, claim to be followers of Christ, but there has not been any significant change in their lives. Today, Kanye West claims that he is not a Christian, but God. And now he's leading millions astray in songs that are filled with sex and drugs. I mean, after the song he released, that is the Jesus is King album, he has gone on to release other songs that are purely worldly, full of cursing, full of, you know, um, nudity and stuff like that. That, my dear friend, is something that as Christians, we must be minded of. You see, true conversion is actually different from what we are seeing in the life of Kanye West. According to the Bible, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All the old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, this means that true conversion is a total transformation of life. The things I used to do, I do them no more. 
So how do I know that I am truly converted? What are the signs of true conversion? That is what I want us to understand. Because if you do not understand this, you may think that you can still claim to be a Christian and still do the things you used to do in the past. True conversion means a total turnaround. It means a change in works from old works of sin to new works of righteousness in Christ. That is what it means to be truly converted. Now, I want to share with you quickly five things that must happen in the life of a truly convicted person. In other words, if you are not seeing these five things, then your conversion may probably be like that of Kanye West. We are praying for him that he would experience the power of the Holy Spirit and he would come back to his senses and truly give his life to Jesus Christ. Number one, five things that must happen in the life of a truly converted person. One, there should be a conviction of sin. You see, a truly convicted person will not continue to live in sin. He or she will be convicted of sin. You see, the Bible makes us understand that we have all sinned. And and as Christians, we all sin. And that's what the Apostle John um, also said in the book of 1 John 1, verse 8 to 9. He says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. But see, the difference between a sinner and a Christian who falls, the difference is that when we sin, we are convicted of our sins by the Holy Spirit. I hope you understand that. So a Christian or somebody who has experienced true conversion is convicted of sin. In other words, when that person sins, they do not remain in the sin. The Spirit speaks to them and they understand the promptings of the Holy Spirit. You know, before Jesus Christ left this world to heaven, he actually promised that the Holy Spirit will come. When you read John chapter 16, verse 8, Jesus Christ says, And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. And so if there is no remorse, there is no guilt or no conviction after we have sinned, then that person, or if that is how you feel, then that is a sign that you have not truly experienced the Holy Spirit in your life. And that is a sign that you have not convicted or you have not truly convicted to Christ. Because anyone who has truly convicted to Christ would always feel the conviction of sin. I hope you understand that. King David was heavily convicted after his murder of Bathsheba's husband and his adulterous affair. In fact, if there is no conviction of sin by the Holy Spirit, then it means that the Holy Spirit is actually not operating in you at all. And so, dear friend, watch out for that sign. If you are still living in sin and you feel no remorse about that, if you are still living in some bad habit, bad behavior, and you still don't feel anything wrong with that, then there is a problem with your conversion then probably you are like Kanye West. That is why after his so-called conviction, he still continued to mingle with the people of the world. He still continued to do those secular music, even though he said he's not going to do that. He still says, I don't need Christ. You know, in the past, before Kanye West became a Christian, he actually said that he was God. (laughs) <laughs> and so when he came back to be a or when he became a Christian saying that he's a God, it's just proving that his conviction was not based on the truth. Number two, the second thing that will happen in a, in a person who is truly convicted is that the person will have a hatred for the world. There will be a strong hatred for the world. In fact, the Bible warns us in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. It says, do not love the world. All the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not from the Father, but from the world. And so, if you are truly convicted, it does not mean that you leave this world, but you will not have any interest in the things of the world. That is why the Apostle James, in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4, says that, Do you know? That friendship with the world is enmity with God. Therefore, whoever wishes to be friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. That is so simple. You cannot love the world or the things of the world and say that you love God because these two are incompatible. They, they don't go together. You need to change your focus. I hope you understand that. If you are truly convicted, you will not continue 
to live according to the standard of this fallen world. That is why the Bible in the book of Romans chapter 12 makes us understand that we must be transformed by the renewing of our mind. In other words, we must not let the world detect for us. We must not live by the standard of the world, but we must live by the standard of God. And so if you are still, you know, consumed by the things of the world, if you are still in love with the things of the world, then there's a problem with your conviction. Number three, if a person is truly convicted, that person will have a change in focus from earthly to heavenly. You see, if you love God, then you will be storing up your treasures not in this world but in heaven because the things of the world, including the earthly treasures, would all pass away. That is why Jesus Christ commanded us not to lay for ourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroy, where thieves do not break in or steal. Bible says, for where your treasure is, that is where your heart would also. And so if you become a child of God, you must begin to desire the things of God. You must begin to desire the things of heaven. If your desires are still the things of this world, then there's a problem with your conversion. You know, just as I said in the second point, Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 makes us understand that no one can serve two masters. For either he would hate the one and love the other, or he would be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. You must put one away. God must be first. God must become your focus. God must become everything in your life. If God is not that focus, then your conversion is not True. That, my dear friend, is the truth. If you are truly convicted, your focus will change. Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So your focus will be about God's kingdom and its righteousness. Number four, there must be a change in fruit. You see, true Christians bear fruit, fruit by the Spirit. You see, faith by itself if it does not have works, according to James chapter 2, verse 17, is dead. And so if you are truly convicted, then your faith in Christ will lead to some fruit. You know, the apostle James is not saying that we are we are saved by works, you know, but a person that is saved would naturally produce good works, and those good works are your fruit. Bible makes us understand that the only way you can identify false prophets is by their fruit. In the same way, the only way you can know whether you are truly convicted or not is the kind of fruit that you are bearing. If we look at the fruit that Kanye West is bearing, the things he's saying, the controversies that surround him, the wife that he's, he has, the things he does, you know, those fruits are not compatible with the fruit of the Spirit. They are everything but the fruit of the Spirit. They are the fruit of the flesh. And as Christians, if you want to know that you are convicted, that you need to check your fruit. What kind of fruit are you bearing? Every tree that does not bear good fruit, according to the Bible, will be cut down. So if you are a Christian and you claim to be converted, yet you are not bearing the fruit of the Spirit, then the Spirit of God is not living in you. So as Christians, my dear friend, we need to begin to ask ourselves, what kind of fruit are we bearing? Are we bearing the fruit of the Spirit? Are we bearing the fruit of righteousness? Are we living the kind of life that brings glory to God? Is our life the kind that makes Jesus in heaven look down upon us with joy? There was a time that God told Lucifer, Have you seen my servant Job? There is no one like him. He hates sin. That is what must be said about a person who is truly convicted. My dear friends, I hope you understand. Let me continue. My time is almost up. Number five, if a person is truly convicted, that person would obey all of God's commandments. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandment. These are the words of Jesus Christ. If you claim to be convicted, then you will not continue to obey the flesh. You would obey God. You would live your life according to the commands of God. 
John says in 1 John chapter 2, when you read verses 4 to 6, he says, He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandment is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected by him. By this we know that we are in him. I hope you understand that. The only way we can know we are in him is when we keep his commandment. The only way we can know that we have become the people of God is that we live according to the commandment of God. Because in this world, people of the world, they live according to the laws of this world. They do their things according to the dictate of the world. But if you want to be a Christian, then you must be the one who live according to to the love of Christ. And Christ says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And so, my dear friend, that is the truth. These are the five things that must be seen in the life of a truly converted person. Unfortunately, when we look at these five things, we don't see them in the life of Kanye West. I am praying that he would receive the true spirit of God and that he would truly be converted to the Christian faith. If you yourself, you don't see these signs in your life, then maybe you need to come to God again and ask him to help you to overcome the lust of this flesh and the lust of the world so that you can truly experience true conviction that one day when he comes, you'll be among those who will be with him in his kingdom above. If this message has been a blessing, please make sure to share with somebody. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button right now and then be blessed with more of these kinds of messages. Remember, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. May God be with you until we meet again. Shalom. <music>